A decades-long mystery surrounding a U.S. president could be solved. A stolen sword that belonged to William Henry Harrison may have been found. Anjanette Levy is live at the president's tomb in North Bend to sort it all out for us. Anjanette. Well, Paula and Cammie, you know, we are here at the tomb. President William Henry Harrison, he was only president for one month. His sword was later given to the Hamilton County Probate Court, but 40 years ago, that sword vanished. This sword is handled gently, as any relic should be. It was um, William Henry Harrison's sword that dates back to the Revolutionary War. The sword is steeped in history. President William Henry Harrison wore it to his inauguration. It originally belonged to his father-in-law, John Cleve Sims, the original buyer of the land on which Cincinnati sits. The sword's been missing since the late 1970s, when it was stolen from the Cincinnati Historical Society. No one knew it had been stolen until years later. And they finally told him in 1993 that the sword had been so stolen somewhere in the late 70s after it was given to probate court on loan. But then last month, a bit of divine intervention. Father Dave Sundberg found it online on an auction site. And was looking at things and all of a sudden the sword popped up. Close-up photos show the engraved names, including several Sims family members and the ninth president's. Only 17 of the swords were made. This one's authenticity is under investigation. Of the 17, how many of these swords have six Sims names engraved on them and a uh, William Henry Harrison name engraved on it? The odds are pretty slim. Old newspaper articles explain how the sword was given to Hamilton County's probate court from the Sims family in 1921. Now the question is, how did it make its way from Cincinnati to an auction website in Connecticut? It's going to involve uh, a lot of looking at records, lo locating photographs of the, of the sword that went missing. So it's going to take some time for us to do that. Now, sheriff's detectives say the man who was actually auctioning the sword to raise money for his foundation has been very cooperative in the investigation. They're hoping that they can work with him and that he can help them authenticate it. And then maybe the work of figuring out who actually took the sword can begin. Paula and Cammie, we'll send it back to you. Mm. All right, more to come. Thank you, Anjanette. And